Hi, welcome to my first class on the chapter Polynomial, chapter number 2, class 10. In this class, I am going to give just an introduction to this polynomial. Let's go to the class. Polynomial, you have already learned in class 9. What does the word polynomial mean? Here, poly comes from a Greek word means min and nomial a Latin word nomen and it means name or here we can call it as terms. So polynomial we can say it is many terms. Now let me take some expressions. Here you have five expressions. Are they all polynomials? Out of this five, two are not polynomials. Can you say which one of them are not polynomials? Here, x minus 1 by x is not a polynomial. Similarly, x square minus 5 by x cube plus 7 is not a polynomial. Then what actually polynomial means? Here you can see in first, second and fourth. Look at the power of the variable x. Here it is 1, here it is 2, here it is 3, etc. But whereas here the variable x minus 1 by x. 1 by x means it is equal to x raised to minus 1. Here power is a negative integer and x square minus 5 by x cube it is equal to 5 x raised to negative 3 so here also power is a negative integer here in first second and fourth the power of the variable is a non-negative integer. If it is so, that kind of expression we can call it as polynomials. Now let me take a polynomial. 2x square minus 5x plus 3. Here how many terms are there? It is 1, it is 2, 3. So the terms you can write it as Terms are 2x square negative 5x with the sign you have to say and 3. There are 3 terms. Now look at the first term. It is 2x squared. Here the 2 we can call it as coefficient coefficient of the variable. So what is the coefficient of coefficient in minus 5x as it is negative 5. Now here 3, 3 does not have a variable. So this 3 we can call it as, 3 we can call it as constant. Now this is the polynomial in variable x. This we can write it as p of x. p of x means the polynomial contains the variable x. Then can you say a polynomial p of y? p of y means it is a polynomial in y. Let me take y square plus 3y plus 2. This is a polynomial in y. Now, let me take the terms. Here it is y square, 3y and 2. Now, let me look at the power of the variable in each term. Here in y square, the power is 2. 3y, 3y means y raised to 1. So, the power you can say it is 1. Obviously, for constant it is 0. 2x means 2 into x raised to 0 you can say. So what is the highest power? Highest power is 2. 
this highest power we can call it as degree of the pole degree of p of pi so degree of the polynomial here it is 2 here you have three polynomial in x first one is 3x plus 1 can you say what's the degree of this polynomial 3x plus 1 yes degree is equal to 1 if the degree of a polynomial is 1 that polynomial we can call it as linear polynomial this you have discussed in class 9th now can you say what is the degree of the second polynomial 2x square plus 3x plus 5 yes of course the highest power here is 2 so degree of the polynomial is 2 so this polynomial we can call it as quadratic polynomial And here in the last 7x cube minus 2x square plus 3x minus 1, degree of the polynomial is 3. This we can call it as cubic polynomial. Up to cubic polynomial only, we are going to discuss from this chapter. Now, let us discuss the standard form. Do you remember the standard form of a linear polynomial you learnt in class 9? Yes, that you can write it as ax plus b. This is the linear polynomial and the standard form of the linear polynomial you can write it as ax plus b. Now, what about the standard form of a quadratic polynomial? Can you write it down? Do try it. And write the standard form of a polynomial quadratic polynomial in x you can write it as a x square plus b x plus c the coefficient of x square is a coefficient of x is b and constant term is c now what about the standard form of a cubic polynomial in the same way you can write that it is p of x you can write it as a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d this will be the standard form of a cubic polynomial so p of x is equal to x plus b it is a standard form of a linear polynomial p of x is equal to x square plus b x plus c this is the standard form of a quadratic polynomial and p of x is equal to s cube plus b x square plus c x plus d is equal to is the standard form of a cubic polynomial here in all the case a not equal to 0 if a is equal to 0 in p of x is equal to s square plus b x plus c what will happen here if a is equal to 0 this term will become 0 so it, the remaining term is bs plus c so it will not form a quadratic polynomial so a not equal to 0 now let us look at the value of a polynomial let me take a polynomial in x p of x is equal to 2x square plus 3s plus 1 then if we take x is equal to 2 what will happen? This you can write it as p of 2 is 2 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 plus 1. Here 2 into 2 square. 2 into 2 square is equal to 2 into 4 plus 6 plus 1. That is 8 plus 6 plus 1. If p of x is equal to 2x square plus 3x plus 1 then p of 2 you will get it as 50 let me take a polynomial p of x is equal to x square minus x minus 2 then can you find out p of 1 do you assume that you will get it as 
1 square minus 1 minus 2 that is 1 minus 1 minus 2 that 1 minus 1 0 minus 2 you will get it as minus 2. So P of 1 is equal to minus 2. Then what is the value when x is equal to 2? Post the video and do yourself. You can write it as 2 square minus 2 minus 2. 2 square is 4 minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4. So you will get 0. That means when x is equal to 2, p of x will become 0. Then the value 2 we can call it as 0 of the pole moment. So, what is the zero of the polynomial? In general, we can say a real number k is said to be a zero of the polynomial p of s if p of k is equal to zero. In detail, we can discuss in the next class. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.